What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into tea room. Uh, Ty Taylor, eight months pregnant. I don't know. Let's get it. Or allegedly being pregnant. No, not too long ago, I told you guys that Ty was spotted out in Daisha's <laughs> Snapchat footage in the background where she appeared to be pregnant. Then she went on to Snapchat and posted a segment about fibroids. Then she later went on to say, I have five. Now stay out of my business, basically insinuating that she has five fibroids and that's why she appears pregnant. So I'm guessing Deja finally got around to editing that footage of that boat trip. She posted a video and in a clip, you can clearly see Ty in it and she appears very much so pregnant. This has to be on purpose. Now she had this video up for about an hour before she deleted it because people were in the comment section congratulating Ty. I didn't get to get a clip, but here's a clip that was sent over to me. It's like, Daisha, why are you forgetting? Again, that video has since been taken down. So I'm guessing she's going to try to edit that part out and make sure she doesn't have any more parts where you can see Ty in them. But anyways, you guys leave your opinions on that. But let's move on to this next topic with Carmen and Big Boogie. Now, yesterday I reported that it appears that they may be in a serious relationship. So Boogie went on to his Instagram and he posted, I'm not dating nobody that don't support me. We can be strangers right now. Yeah, we for sure falling out because I'm big on my support. I can't treat you like no girlfriend, period. If I don't get my support, I'm a rapper. Doesn't matter if I'm already a superstar. Life goes on. Push me to be bigger and better. Share my songs, share my videos, rap my songs, catch shows when you can. Share my merch. Show me you proud other than just trying to be a... Damn. Skip this? Why? Girlfriend, thug with me. Come to my studio sessions just to look at me while I work. I'm just giving game out to somebody, girlfriend, that's dating somebody that has a dream. Doesn't matter what he do, support dude, because if not, somebody else will. That nigga want you to be everywhere on everything at any time with him. Nigga said, come to the studio and watch me. Like, she got to really not have nothing to do. <laughs> no children, no nothing. And don't get me wrong, ain't nothing wrong with support. So I'm not saying that. It's just, I hope he don't expect that to be an all the time thing. Because, you know, most of the time men do. Like, I need you to support me and I, I need you to be there at least seven days out of the week. It's only seven days in the week. We'll figure it out. Sir! <laughs> I mean, how much am I supposed to do? You know what I'm saying? Here's those times in real life, no cap. <laughs> real men support their women crazy. back. So now when I posted Carmen yesterday, a few people thought that, no, he's already in a relationship <laughs> with someone else. But here he's stating he's not dating anyone that's not supporting him, which is why Carmen has been supporting him a lot, showing up to his shows. She uh, even left a comment under that makes sense. Underneath that post that said, it's like that. But let's move on to this next topic with Corey and his new girlfriend. He said, you're going to give me some attention. Friend as well. Now things are getting serious between the two. She's talking about having kids, multiple kids with Corey sometime very soon. I want to know your thoughts on Corey dating Maddie. Do you guys think that she's a good fit for him? I personally do. I think Corey needs someone that's going to set him straight, put him in his place. She ain't playing no games with him. and she needs to pop him, she says she's going to pop him. So, yeah, she bought me a little bottle of Hennessy or whatever, right? And like, everybody know Corey. I know the old boy. And Hennessy, like the whole... Y'all, yeah, he told me... Tell me, baby, don't ever let me drink Hennessy if I'm not with you. <laughs> I said, boy, I will splinter shit. I will literally, y'all, see his teeth? Beautiful teeth, right? I will remove them shits one by one. You understand? He said that. Did y'all believe he said that to me? He said, baby, don't ever let me drink Hennessy if I'm not with you. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like this is like cute right now until she really pissed him off. That's that's what I'm scared about, to be honest, because 
she's really aggressive. And I just hope he can, I hope that's what he like, like all the time, you know, like, because it's going to get old if he don't. Some niggas love aggression, and when women um, hit on them and threaten them and all that, I don't. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be domestic. Yeah, that's that's the exact feeling I'm getting. Like, something ain't right. <laughs> <clears throat> Y'all, this this little bit of um, spice almost up out of that. I thought, thank y'all for telling me to get the Benadryl because I was just going to sit here and choke. I just, anyway, only the people on the live will understand. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so look, y'all, let me tell y'all something really good. So everybody, so everybody understand something. Our own manager. No, no, tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. No, you tell them. Tell them. I'm telling you to tell them. Tell them what? Tell them that I owe you. Get on it right now. Let them know. He owns me, y'all. Alright. Exactly. And she owns me. Yeah, I'm stuck here. I love it. Definitely sounds domestic. Y'all hear Usher in the background? Ciao. Yeah, I love him so much. Like, I, I really am so thankful for God. Because this wasn't supposed to happen. Like, it just happened. Get out. You, you, oh, I know exactly where they are. I was about to say, y'all know they in Atlanta. I know they at. <laughs> <clears throat> I just peeped it. <clears throat> His real Instagram got deactivated. We got taken down. Back up. I'm just trying to get the video to eight minutes. No cap. What is going on with you? Yeah, you ain't that great. You only hear music like that in certain black areas, especially in the restaurant. They in Atlanta. <laughs> Tell y'all something y'all don't know. I'm gonna have a baby by him any second now. He have a baby with her. That will be one of the biggest mistakes he ever made in his life. At least this early, it's gonna be a mistake. I, I don't. I don't think Corey understand what's going on here, y'all. And don't get me wrong. I'm not saying she's a bad woman either. It's just. It's, mm. you know, hopefully he knows what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully he knows what he is doing. Sound like she's trying to trap him. I didn't say it, kid. You did. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey.